Hello gorgeous people, what is going on and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are playing a new analog horror styled game called The Lancaster Leak Entity Exam. Now you probably know exactly what type of game this is going to be. We've done a ton of these analog horror styled exam games on the channel before, but I think this one might be the best one I've played yet. And that's because it's not just a basic test of like, oh, which one's normal, which one's not normal. This one actually has several different types of tests. Some teach us about a bunch of different types of entities and then quiz us. Some of them just like the classic pick the doppelganger. And then some of them teach us about exactly what we should do in certain situations when we confront one of these entities. I personally enjoyed this one a lot, so I hope you guys do too. And for people that are on PC, this game is free, so I'll leave the link in the description down below for you to try it out. But alright guys, enough of me chatting, let's jump right in. Warning, this game contains flashing lights and images that may trigger seizures in individuals with photosensitive epilepsy. Viewer discretion is advised. We're getting the feeling that you aren't taking us seriously. Uh, that's fair. Uh, you haven't gotten my respect yet. No acknowledgement of missing Valerie or the tapes we are leaking. Missing Val- who the hell is Valerie? This time we decide to reveal something a little bit closer to home, an old screen recording of one of your training protocols. She isn't released, maybe the next leak will show how useless your training is. Does the agent body cam footage ring a bell? I'm missing something here. <laughs> Entity Research Department. I like where this is going so far. Login user. Um, password. Okay, good start. December 10th, 1991. Required learning modules and practice quiz. Oh, so we got a few things to complete here today. Okay, 79 degrees. Is that? No, that's definitely not the temperature outside. It's freezing in New York. Um, face detection. Yeah, I think, I think we'll start off at face detection. Throughout ERB research, there has been one constant. Entities who possess human characteristics are the most violent, deceptive, and are the greatest threat to public security. Makes sense. It is imperative that agents have the skills to not only detect potential threats, but fast. CRD has found the one-year agent fatality rate goes down from 34.7 per 100 to 26.2 per 100 after taking this module that's and being proficient in this skill. That's quite a big ratio. Using your cursor, click on the face in the image in the allotted time. Distractions may be employed. Okay, so this is timed. Alright, well I'm a pro. Begin. This isn't my first time. <laughs> No, she looks normal. Oh, wait, was I supposed to click? Oh. Wait. I think I'm confused. Okay, there we go. What the hell was that? Okay, I just... I guess I just have to click on faces? I thought it was they were going to show me, like, more than one. But it seems that all these people are messed up. I don't like the masks. Ugh. What happened to that one's arms? I didn't like the scream from that one. Had it? Did this person make all these images? Okay, that, where was the face on that one to click? Oh, why did the music stop? Oh, there it is. Okay. The time's getting a lot quicker. Okay, 16 out of 19. All right. We didn't get a perfect grade. I wonder if there's multiple endings in this. Can I run it back for a perfect grade? I can't. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm such an idiot. That was just face detection. That's why, all right. Doppelganger detection is the one that I'm thinking. So we'll do that one next. 
I like the style. Emergence as one of the most common and dangerous entities, special training on doppelganger detection was created. Originally thought to be its own entity type, the doppelganger is rather a class of entities who visually and audibly mimic humans. Doppelgangers can be detected from their abnormal features. The most common attributes to look for are loose skin, missing features, and incorrect features. Further classification of the Peldangers can be made by observing the abnormal features, for example, skinwalkers always have loose skin. However, identification is covered in a different module. Okay. Using your cursor, click on the doppelganger amongst the humans. Sounds easy enough. Begin. So loose skins, missing features, or just straight up something's wrong with them. Okay, definitely this one top right. Mm, your eyes, there's something off about this guy. <laughs> okay, top right. All right, your skin's a little too loose on the top left, at least compared to the rest. Um, mm, I don't like the way your bottom lip is looking. It's actually more difficult than the usual ones. See, they it's like they could be human, like their characteristics aren't that bad. Like, what if this person just has a bad eye? Okay. The bad eye and the weird mouth? Mm. Oh god. Um. Top right? Something just off about that top right one. Alright. Bro's got the Minecraft Steve chin. Definitely bottom right. You're missing eyebrows, so I'm going to say you. I'm going to go bottom left. Pupils look a little big. Something off about this. Oh, wait. The eyes on this one, too, though. Uh, bottom right. Should probably bottom left, that one. Okay, yeah. Something off on that top left. Glasses were... Okay. Oh, so we got them all. Okay, cool. All right, nice. We actually passed that one. I mean, we passed the face detection too, but we just didn't get 100 on the test. I wish they gave tests like this in high school. I would have would have been like a high honor roll student. All right, let's do situation training now. This module has been created to address and rectify observed deviations from established protocols, reaffirming the essential principles that all ERP agents are expected to adhere to consistently. Lesson one. CERT. CERT. CERT stands for Calmly Collect Evidence. Eliminate threats. Run away. And terminate self. Given an interaction with an entity, these are the order of actions an agent will take during expulsion. First, of course, is data collection, as research remains the top priority of ERD. Second, eliminate the threat, unless such entity is on the preservation list. A dead entity can be studied, a dead agent cannot. If fighting back is futile, agents should run. If running is futile, agents should terminate themselves. Let us look at an example, where an agent didn't follow the principles of CERT. In 1989, Agent Redacted was collecting data on Entity 59 Skinwalker. Suddenly cornered, Agent Redacted fired all 12 shots of his service pistol into Entity. With no bullets left, Redacted was subjected to Entity 59 s ref. Remember to search. Remember to keep an extra round. To terminate yourself if you have to. Got it. This video is another example. Think, following the values of search, what would you do? Okay. Oh my god, we're actually getting like footage and everything in this. Okay.
hear something like growling. Okay, let's attempt to eliminate the threat. Or just run away. I don't think he got away. Lesson 2. Do's and don'ts. Improvements we need in the RD. To interact with entities, if new data can be collected. Don't risk losing obtained data by interacting too much. Okay. Do help co-workers gather data. Don't become friends with co-workers. Do terminate co-workers who leak data. Don't hesitate. Explain later. Honestly, this all makes Lesson sense three, for a job protocol. district. Deviation from mission protocol endangers yourself, co-workers, and data collection. Assisting civilians is strictly forbidden, unless stated otherwise in mission protocol. Reminder, the punishment for deviation is termination. In 1990, Agent Redacted was on a mission studying an entity. The entity was located at Agent Redacted's house. Agent Redacted tried and successfully saved his wife. Agent Redacted didn't follow protocol and both him and his wife were terminated. Oh wow, okay. That's a situation that's really sad. This concludes the refresher. We will not remind about these topics again. See your supervisor if you have questions. A multiple question quiz about these topics will now commence. Oh crap. I feel like I'm actually in school now. Begin. Um, all right. <laughs> An entity has killed your partner, but is no longer exhibiting hostile behavior. What should you do? Eliminate the threat. Or... Collect evidence? Oh, nice! It's a perfect time to collect more data. Alright. Should probably... Alright, whatever. After a mission, an entity unknowingly followed you home. You have tried to shoot the entity, but your efforts are futile. You are cornered in your room. What, you, what should you do? I want to say run away, but obviously you're not going to be able to get away because you're cornered. So the answer that they want is terminate self. Have enough self-respect to give yourself a painless death. All right. Honestly, as horrible as the terminate self thing sounds, I think it makes sense because I'm sure some entities could probably use your bodies in some ways, especially if we're talking about like doppelgangers and things that try to mimic humans. So I could see why terminating yourself would be like an option. You're carrying newly discovered data about an entity. You hear your partner upstairs cry for help. You know you could probably neutralize the threat attacking your partner. What should you do? I, I would eliminate the threat, but they want you to say run away. Do not risk losing collected data. Okay. So data above all. You have a do no interfere order on a mission studying an entity. The entity is killing civilians, one of which is your friend. You've been given a weapon strong enough to neutralize the entity. What should you do? Help friend. Record your friend's death for data. So here's my thing. I feel like if you want to work at this company or this job, you should probably have no friends, no wife, no kids. It should just be you, so that you're capable of doing the job that's provided here. I want to help friend, but I want 100 on the test. Follow mission protocol. You overhear your superior talking about a plan to leak data from ERD. You are worried that you will be in trouble for solving the issue. What should you do? Do nothing. They probably know something you don't. Terminate your boss. Record the conversation and report your boss. Ask your boss to explain the conversation. Terminate your boss. Correct. Don't hesitate. Every second you don't terminate is another second data could be leaked. And we pass, baby. Flying colors. I hope I get promoted after this. So if I work here, right, what happens if I die? Does my family know? Like how or what happens if I get injured? Am I allowed to tell people? Like, how is that legally handled? Don't be like all the silly characters in the horror videos I make. I guarantee you when they get injured in some of these accidents, they are not getting compensated. That's why if you're ever injured in an accident, you should check out Morgan and Morgan. When you're hurt, you deserve to have the best on your side because your serious injury could be worth millions. Insurance companies often lowball client claims, but Morgan and Morgan fights to get you the money you deserve. Insurance companies know it and now you do too. The firm does not settle for 
for lowball offers. Just in the past few months, Morgan & Morgan saw verdicts of $12 million in Florida, which was 34 times the highest that insurance was offering. The firm is not afraid to go to court to fight for the biggest award possible to compensate you. All law firms are not the same. Morgan & Morgan is the biggest for a reason. They've won a lot. And the fee is absolutely free unless you win. It takes only a few minutes to see if you have a case. Did you know that you could start a claim with America's largest injury law firm in just a click? It's super easy. You can start your claim now with Morgan & Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash immortal Marcus, or you can click the link in the description. Thank you so much to Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring today's video. All right, so we completed face detection, situation training, doppelganger detection. Let's do image recognition. I don't like this, this music. This training module is to practice quick reaction skill on determining if something is a friend. Or a no. Okay. It's very easy to determine from those two. Answer in the allotted time, else it will be marked incorrect. Gotcha. Begin. Okay. No threat. Threat. Alright, if they can load the image a little faster. No threats. No threats. Threats. I'm scared of that thing. <laughs> No threats. Definitely a creepy forest, but I don't see anything. Threats. No threat. Empty street. We like empty streets. Th that thing's got too many teeth. Definitely a threat. No threats. Threat, 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 threat. No threat. That image was familiar, though. Threat. No threat. Oh, I don't know if there was something in the window. I don't think there was, though. No threats. No threat. This is giving me like a little bit of anxiety now. Threat. 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 No threat. Nah, that's a creepy Chuck E. Cheese outfit. Threat. I'm gonna, ooh, incorrect. Okay, it was just a skull. My bad. All right, so we've gotten the rest of them right. Threat. No threat. They're not giving me a lot of time to decide anymore. Threat. No threat. Threat. Looks like some dead witch. 29 out of 30, damn. Only because I had to react so quick to that skull, man. So for the most part, we've gotten pretty high scores, which I'll take. All right, let's do audio transcription. Agents must be able to accurately transcribe audio coming from unusual sources. Besides being able to detect incoming attacks, agents must document what entities say during encounters, as research remains the number one priority. That makes sense. Type into the console what you hear, and press enter when complete. Oh, I have to like actually type it out? Begin. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog.
Oh no, what if I spell this wrong? Do not look behind you. I looked, what are you gonna do now? You are weak and replaceable. All right. Cla 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 cloudy with a chance of rain. Okay, cloudy with a chance of rain. Everything is fine. fine, fine, fine. Yeah. Everything doesn't sound fine. I don't see, 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 see the sun often. What? I don't see, 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 see the sun often. I don't see the what? I don't see the shut. I hear I don't see the shut off it. It's definitely not right though. Don't leave me here. Okay, don't leave me here. I probably will be leaving you. Get out of my eyes. Get out of my house. Something kill himself. Yeah, what's mean? I don't know. It won't let me. Yeah, what's mean? I don't know. You're listening right now? I am blank with you. I am playing with you? Don't you forget me. Don't you forget me. I desire you. I desire you? Please come back. Please come back. I'm so cold. So cold. So cold. So cold. Yeah. Is that you? That you? Jack, is that you? Dude, some of these are like easy and some of them are really hard. Stay back, help, no, no, Jack. Okay, that one was definitely wrong. Damn, we only got that second to last one wrong. I guess even if I typed like majority or like at least something it said, it counted as correct. But I'm honestly impressed with a, with a lot of this. It's not just simple like the doppelganger detection. Like usually that's what most of these games are, but it's actually giving us like different kinds of tests, which I like a lot. Now, like, I don't think I've ever done an audio transcription test in one of these types of games. Let's see what Entity 101 is. And then I'm guessing that last exam is like a combination of all of them. Entities are otherworldly beings that humans have been encountering for thousands of years. For once was a rare sighting, entities have begun appearing more rapidly through time. This led to the founding of the Entity Research Department. The RD goal is researching entities to protect the public but more importantly, finding utility in entities, and where they come from. The leading theory of where they come from is backdoors, yet no physical evidence has been found yet. Do you mean the back rooms? <laughs> Sorry. That's S, where you come in. As an agent of ERD you will be conducting highly confidential research missions to explore the gain of function of entities and finding their origin. This brief module will explain how entities are classified and show you the four entities ERD are focusing on in 1992. Entities are given an ID but are often given a nickname. Some entities are given a class that link them to a family of entities. Entities are classified in three ways, threat level, containment, and utility each rated by five levels. Entity, E549. Nickname, Shadow People. Class, Doppelganger. 
Threat, moderate. Containment, extreme. Utility, significant. Shadow people, or night terrors, torment their prey during nights when there is low visibility, often in bathrooms, when the prey is sleeping. Paralyzing their prey during sleep, shadow people will ominously watch from a distance. It is a known why shadow people choose to kill, as they will often torment the same subject for many years, but when they do, the victim isn't touched. To the civilian world it seems the subject died in their sleep. The research goal this year is finding out how shadow people choose their prey, and if this can be influenced. If so, E549 could be used in advanced interrogation techniques. That's really cool. Entity, E718. Nickname, Matronic. Class, Machine. Threat, Low. Containment, Easy. Utility, Moderate. Matronics take the form of animatronics, playful figures that appeal to children. Matronics prey on children with no known case of an adult victim. It is a known, where matronics bring their children prey, however, they are never seen again. Matronics, although dangerous, they are easy to terminate and capture. The past five years, agents of ERD children have been targeted by Matronics and have taken 107 to date. The research goal this year is finding why Matronics are targeting agent children and how to redirect their targeting. Hmm. Entity, E59. Nickname, Skinwalker. Class, Doppelganger. Threat, Severe. Containment, Moderate. Utility, Significant. Skinwalkers are ancient Shapa shifters usually taking the form of animals and uncommonly humans, stealing their skin in the process. Skinwalkers are incredibly violent and when killed leave behind nothing but their body vector. Skinwalkers have a hard time replicating the natural movements of creatures they take control of. Skinwalkers can often be identified by unusual eye size or loose skin. The research goal this year is finding a systematic way to identify skinwalkers 99% of the time and finding out defensive measures that can be taken to prevent loss of possession of body. I like that we're getting like a bunch of lore Entity, here on different creatures. Nickname, the rake. Class, no. Threat, moderate. Containment, moderate. Utility, low. After the elimination of the Windigo, a new creature has seemingly taken its place in the Midwest of America and Southern Canada. Humanoid huh. in shape, the rake has varying size limbs but usually conforms to a white pasty color skin. Rakes hunt at night and humans are their favorite prey. Rakes are susceptible to gunfire, yet are incredibly agile and thus hard to shoot. The research goal this year is finding out the cause of their resurgence and the correlation after the Windigo eradication. Is there a point of taking out entities, if there is always a bigger fish? It's a fair thought. If you're only going to take out one and then a get them replaced. Will now begin. Oh crap. I didn't study. Begin. Choose the correct... This looks like the rake. Alright, lock in. Okay, this is a Matronic. Alright, that's just Freddy Fazbear, pretty much. This is... What do they call them? Shadow people? Skinwalker. Rake. Uh, a child of an agent has been taken by a Matronic. What should he do? Follow it and find origin? Okay, nice. I think that was correct. What gives away that this entity is a skinwalker? Loose skin, upwards finger, unusual eyes, demeanor. Demeanor. Shadow people kill their prey after how long? Uh, it said that it stalks them throughout their lifetime, right? So I'm going to say one to three years. A rake has approached you during a mission. All you have is a service pistol. Are you able to terminate the entity? No, terminate self. Oh no, okay, alright, I didn't realize we could kill rakes, I missed that part. You have a child, and after watching this training module, you have learned your child is at risk of abduction, you should. Nothing. Can't warn family. Can't leak information. Alright. I honestly thought that entire module was just gonna be them telling me about the entities, I didn't realize I had to, like, 
pay attention to every detail that they were saying but we still did pretty good we got eight out of ten all right here we go the last one the comprehensive exam the final exam will now begin a mixture of content from previous modules begin all right let's get it <laughs> Oh my god, I've seen that face on the bottom left before, in like a past game. Did you check the latch? Okay, they're all timed. An entity who has a threatening appearance, what should you do? Collect evidence. No threat. Yeah, the one on the right, right? You have encountered a Matronic during a mission. Are you in danger? No, collect data. You only go after kids, they said. Top right. Oh, uh, I don't have many choices here. Threat. Okay. All right, definitely top right. What is that face? Choose the correct entity. Shadow people. Your co-worker who you consider a good friend seems to be infected by something you want to save him, but no, it's your duty to put what is the example of which principle you need to do. Um, collect data. Oh, do not friend befriend co-workers. Damn it. Are you serious? Oh no. I really wanted a perfect score. Apparently that was right. No threat. Threat. For sure. Group fences have kidnapped children. Your mission protocol is only to observe from a distance. What should you do? Observe. Choose the correct entity. Break. Choose the correct entity. Shadow people. Bottom left dude had a weird expression. Threat. Freaking. That looked like it, but McDonald's version. 25 out of 26 passed. This HR module is complete. Return to your supervisor for next instructions. Let's go. Stop watching before they find you. Okay. Consider joining the Discord or newsletter to know the release of the next game that returns to first person found footage. The Lancaster Leak, TBA. So I feel like that ending was a little underwhelming for everything we just went through, but I also feel like that was a technical problem. Before the game starts, it does tell you like, hey, just so you know, the game is gonna use your webcam and it's gonna use the name of your PC, which the name of my PC just so happens to be Marcus Ash, which is the same username that I put at the beginning of the game. So I guess if you put a different username in the game, it would actually tell you your real name at the end. So it'd be like a little more shocking. And I think at the end there, it would have showed your webcam, but the thing about recording these videos when they show your webcam is you need to have two webcams for it to actually work because these games can't use your webcam because I'm already recording with my webcam. It can't be used by two applications at the same time. So if you were to play this game and not record it, it would have used your webcam and probably freaked you out a lot more. And I think that would have been like a cooler twist in the end. But sadly, that's just not the case. I honestly think I do need to get a second webcam just to kind of be able to do that for some of these games. But either way, honestly, I really, really liked the idea of this game i like playing these games because it's always like fun to do like an analog horror style test game they're usually all pretty similar but have their own twists this one was a in-depth like test like this was more than just like all right pick which one's wrong out of the two this one actually quizzed you on different entities and topics and i just really liked the style of it overall my only complaint is i feel like the music was a bit annoying at times sometimes i would have just preferred the silence but that's just me personally this also isn't the only lancaster leak game this is actually a series 
series of games. I think I've seen a few of them on itch.io and there is another one here on Steam. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you want me to play more from the Lancaster League series, let me know in the comments down below. I'm definitely interested. It definitely gives that analog horror style feel that I like. So I'm definitely down to play it again, if anything. This game that we played today though was free. So if you guys want to try it out, the link will be in the description down below as well. But otherwise guys, I hope that you guys really enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like on it. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We play weird analog horror games like this all the time on the channel. And we're trying to hit a million subscribers before the end of the year. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.